Did your doctor just diagnose you with fatty liver? You're not alone. Up to 46% of the US are also affected by it. So by the end of this video, you'll learn 10 tips to help reverse it. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Maj, your YouTube primary care doctor, and I'm here with my medical assistants. Hi. Make sure to subscribe for weekly useful and actionable health tips to help care for you and your family. Here we go. Now, most people who have fatty liver don't even know it because there are no symptoms. It often gets discovered after your doctor obtains certain liver function tests called ALT and AST, and they tend to be elevated in fatty liver patients. Your doctor may then order an ultrasound of the liver where it is finally discovered. It's also important to rule out other conditions affecting the liver, however, like hepatitis and excessive alcohol intake. Now, even though it doesn't cause problems in most patients, there is a small risk of liver cirrhosis in those with fatty liver, and that's why it's vital to reverse it. So how can you do that? Number one, weight loss. Weight gain and obesity are by far the most common causes of fatty liver. The good news is you can often reverse the fatty liver with the weight loss. Number two, diabetics are at higher risk for developing fatty liver and controlling your blood glucose is vital to treating fatty liver. If you haven't been screened for diabetes and you have fatty liver, please talk about it with your doctor at your next visit. Number three, hypertension is also a risk factor, so make sure your blood pressure numbers are at goal. Number four, if your cholesterol is elevated, that can also contribute, so talk to your doctor to see how to best reduce your cholesterol numbers. Number five, if you snore with brief moments in which you stop breathing, you may have sleep apnea. These patients often experience daytime fatigue. So if you think you may have sleep apnea, make sure to get tested and treated because it is underdiagnosed. Number six, patients with polycystic ovarian syndrome also have a greater tendency to develop fatty liver. I've reviewed the home treatment of this prior and I'll place the link below in the description for this video. Number seven, patients with uncontrolled hypothyroidism can develop fatty liver, especially if overweight. So make sure that you've had that yearly thyroid blood test if you're on hypothyroid treatment. And if you are overweight and have never been tested for the thyroid, then make sure to discuss it with your doctor. Number eight, although uncommon, Certain medications can actually cause fatty liver as a side effect, like estrogen, think birth control or hormone replacement therapy, and chronic corticosteroids that are used to treat certain autoimmune disorders like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Number nine, of course, you don't wanna add fuel to the fire. So if you have fatty liver, avoid alcohol in order to help protect your liver as much as possible. And lastly, a few, albeit smaller studies, have shown possible improvement of fatty liver with omega-3 fatty acids. If you're interested in a supplement to treat fatty liver, omega-3s are likely the safest and best option, but it doesn't take the place of the prior nine tips that we just reviewed here. Now, my knowledgeable medical assistants would like to share their experience on this topic. Do you remember learning about the liver when you were in school? No. Uh -uh. It's an organ inside your stomach. It's organ right here. That's your Up higher. Right here. A little bit lower. Here. And then to the side. There you go, yeah, that's where the liver is. What do we have to do to keep the liver healthy? What do you guys think? Eat good food. Eat good food and don't eat bad food. Do we need our liver? Yes. Why do we need it? What do you guys think? To breathe, I think. To breathe. Now, if you found the information useful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and share it with someone else who may find it useful. And consider subscribing to this channel so that you don't miss any weekly videos. Well, thanks for tuning in. Keep that liver healthy, and I'll catch you next time. Um, so you first, when you get something from a plate, when your mom packs you, don't eat gummy bears or bad food in your lunch. You only eat, only when at dinner, you can eat it at the end when you're done with your dinner. You can tell your mom that you or have to eat. You have to tell them that I want healthy food, please. I don't want bad food. I want to eat bad food, bad food later when I'm done with my dinner, just one or two. And then your mom or dad decides if it's two or one. My mom decides two. Two JoJo's for me. And then I watch a movie if you want to. If you have any, if you have time to watch a movie.